<laughs> because dang, dang, dudes. Butts, 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 everybody. Oh no, I just started recording. Good. That is a very good cold open to what I'm sure will be just a wonderful episode. But I just talk some wolves and then go home. By the way, let me know if you need any swords, because I have, like, eight of them, apparently. You have- yeah, you, you keep pulling things off of dead people. We need <laughs> swords! I don't think I do. You might, but I- I- I think I'm good, actually. I- I think Zelphine might, but- No, she doesn't. She's- like, half- half your people are like, nah. In that case, We're I will good. distribute- I, The first thing I will do is distribute all these weapons to the town guard. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> you take all this stuff and then it's like, I I'm just gonna give it to NPCs, it's cool. It's fine, it's okay. good. <laughs> so, 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 for the record, three long swords, six daggers, uh, actually I'll keep, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep two of the daggers. Um, so four daggers and three long swords, two rapiers, and four kind of rusty short swords, and also another dagger apparently. Yeah, because you Looking keep pulling right. things off of dead things. I love the implication of that additional dagger is so Eamon's going through his bag, and like he upturns it, and he's like, okay, oh, there's, there's another more daggers. One. And then he opens, yeah, he opens another pocket, and there's like, ah, oh, damn, another dagger. Oh, what do you know? So many daggers. Dagger. All, right. All right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Are you ready for that recap? All right, time to mute for recaps. Okay, 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 okay. So, last time on Horrible Barovia Time, the crew had fled the ruins of Berez with Baba Lasaga on their heels, and they ran into Strad von Zarevich. The Count commanded that the old witch stand down and gave the wounded adventurers an ultimatum. Either they bring Irina Kolyana to the castle up on the hill, Castle Ravenloft, in three days' time, or he will bring the full force of his wrath down upon the people of Velaki. He, told, he then kidnapped Eamon's mother, the Vistana woman, Jitana as collateral as he rode off into the night. Upon returning to Velaki to discuss strategy, the group found the were-raven ally Lucas attacking the legendary monster hunter Rudolf Van Richten, claiming it was Van Richten's fault that Lucas and Olive's parents were killed by Strahd. The man didn't deny the accusations, but the fight was halted by the adventurers coming to uh, discuss things with them. Van Richten was then instructed to retrieve the Tome of Strahd from the tower. He had been given it earlier for safekeeping by Eamon, but they decided that that would not be the best place for it right now. The next uh, day, Brimstone went to talk to Irina and told her about Strahd's demands, and Riley and Eamon went to return Arabelle to the Vistani camp outside of town. Despite returning the child and the the familiar relationship between Eamon and the Vistani. The Vistani seemed to be hiding something from the two visitors to the camp, and they could feel eyes on them as they left. And that is just about where we left off, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it you guys picked up from the camp? Was it just like... Bottles? It was... Yeah, it was uh, bottles of Useless potions. Basically. basically water. Potions of hydration <laughs> is what they're called. Yeah. yeah, didn't you dump them out or something? <laughs> you got some Gatorade. You got some... Potions like not, of not like, hydration. Not even like like normal Gatorade, like Gatorade, like GT or whatever, like the watered down Gatorade. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, the, the Vistani had specifically said that they that would let you pass through the mist back out. But yeah, you bullshit. you could tell immediately that this was bullshit, and they just were trying to get you out of the camp. <laughs> Fucking bunch of dicks. Though we've been dicks to them, so yes. I mean, at least now Makes we don't sense. have a blood debt to the Vistani. Yep. That's true. Because they were quite upset at you earlier for killing one of their uh, members, and that yeah, is you know I get it. I get it. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, that means Eamon's a kinslayer. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, you're not supposed darn to. It. Oh, ah, darn yeah. it. I was trying to avoid that one, but... Ah, uh, uh, oh, that's dang it. Here in I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. Well, yeah, we, we said go away and they wouldn't, so... Mm. 
Oh well. The next option is death. I mean, look, it's like I was gonna have to do it anyways, because technically Strahd's my uncle, but still, it's not. <laughs> I mean, he's not exactly like he's not exactly family at this point. I mean, nah. unfortunately, he is. <laughs> like, I get what you're saying, but he very much is, and it's really gross, and it makes me kind of uncomfortable. All right. We should talk with Brimstone about his idea of family. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Anyways, yes, we, we left uh, with you. doesn't want to cry this episode, okay? <laughs> no crying. <laughs> then why episode. are you playing a game in Barovia? Fair <laughs> enough. Anyways. <laughs> Carry on, Leanne. Yes. They're all boo-boo so, We ended off with Amond and Riley heading out of the Vistani camp past the the Dusk Elves that watch you, and the Vistani who are keeping an eye on you. And you're heading back towards town. What would you like to do? So, Riley. Yes? Uh, you a little worried about those uh, werewolves? Uh, man, if I had a list of like all the things that worried me I would be have I would have a book and I'd be selling it and making riches you don't even know man so yes I'm wanna... worried okay <laughs> so, so we're on the same page that we should probably try and trail brimstone and see what the hell is going on with him and the werewolves uh, you know yeah maybe just keeping a distance like, I trust, I trust Brimstone a lot. I don't. I like him, but I don't trust him. Hmm. <laughs> it's not, it's, uh, it's not, again, I like him, but... <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay, we both like him. Yeah, he... So we should we should keep an eye on him just to be sure that nothing bad happens and we can I jump just, in. And... I don't want another Rictavio incident, is basically what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I, again, I like Brimstone, but he does some really stupid and reckless shit sometimes. Mm -hmm. And maybe I shouldn't be talking, but like... Yeah, know. we're all kind of reckless in our own way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amon says, taking a swig of one of those potions. <laughs> Roll me a constitution check. Hi, Good, uh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> check, check or save? Save. This is just cat pee. <laughs> uh, that's a 13. Just a bottle of cat pee. <laughs> you immediately spit it out because it is, like, very vile. <laughs> I thought it was just water. Oh my god. So you're telling me it is caffeine. You're telling me it is caffeine. No, oh, it's, it's not cat. Ca it's not. It, is, it still looks like water, but it is very vinegary. They stuck vinegar in there. Well, oh, we can man. use it for cleaning stuff. No, no, no. I want to try it. I want to try it. Don't. <laughs> no, 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 please. It's like, it's like the cinnamon challenge. Come on. Brimstone is rubbing off on Riley. I love this. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. I'll, I'll give her oh the my bottle. God, yes. Roll me a, yeah. a constitution save, Riley, if you're taking a guzzle. You got it. <laughs> um, ooh, that's very good. 22. You wow. actually get to add my stuff to it as well. You, yeah, you, you <laughs> down, like, half of this. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, vinegar. Stone face, please. She just, like, he, like, spits it out, and she's like, oh, let me try it. And she just downs it stone face, like, oh, that wasn't bad. Yep. Yeah, it's like, hmm. Eamon looks at the a camera. A little bitter. Hmm. And then shrugs. <laughs> just a just office head shake. <laughs> My god. Anyways. I don't know what you're talking about. This ain't, this ain't bad. Meanwhile, Brimstone, how are you today? So we left Brimstone with uh, Zelphine at the church. I believe you were just leaving there. Yeah. And Zelphine goes very quiet and she kind of makes a motion that she's going to head off back towards the inn. She mutters something under her breath and walks off. Leaving me standing there, pretty much? Yeah, in the middle of this the street. And you, like, turn around and she's just gone. You don't know where she went. Because she's a rogue. Mm -hmm. 
This is because Shelves is unfortunately not here today. <laughs> um. So, hmm, Brimstone's gonna, I think, go around to some of the. It's gonna go around to some of the shops. Okay. Where would you like to go first? I think the first place I'd like to go is probably the blacksmiths. Okay. So yeah, you, you make your way to the the blacksmith shop. Let me just double check what the name of that was. Yeah, the the heavy hammer. Mm-hmm. You open it and you see Ingrid, the the woman that you've met before, st- standing behind the counter. She looks a little tired. She looks better though than when you found her locked up in the burgomaster's house, but she is still a little, little you can see a little bit of bruising on her. Uh, I sort of, uh, bend my head down and, uh, and walk inside, uh, avoiding several things that are, I'm sure, hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, she's and, got uh, all kinds of things hung up there. So I kind of walk inside and, um, and I kind of go up to her and I say, um, I know, uh, you just inherited this shop from, uh, from your husband, I think you said. That's correct. Um, <clears throat> Yes. What can you tell me, if anything, about this? And I'm going to take out the Spear of Kavan. She gingerly picks it up and kind of, like, squints at it and goes, Hmm. This is old. Very old. I've seen ones uh, kind of similar like this being brought in, usually by people that scounds around Yester Hill. This one, though... Something weird about it. Mm-hmm. Can't put my finger on it, but uh, it's in one piece. Most of the ones that people bring back are not in one piece anymore. What could you tell me, or would you know anybody who would know more about Yester Hill? Well, uh, the druids were basically the ones that knew the most about it, seeing oh. as they live there. But uh, they're, they're all crazy, so I don't yeah, imagine they don't you. Like... <laughs> They all, uh, they, they, cut, they all serve straw. pile of dead druids. Yeah. <laughs> Smash cut pile of dead bodies. Basically, the, the, they were like the mountain people. They saw Strahd as the, the land. And because they worshipped the land, they worshipped him. That's about all I know about them, other than that. I have a... Is there a library in town? Ugh, library? Uh, I know the Burgermaster had some books in his house, but we don't oh, really... Right. We don't really, per se, have a library. Okay. Well, um... He kind of eyes some of the, uh... Some of the, like... Uh, any any of the, like, the, the sort of armors or any of the stuff that she has on the walls, but then, um... He kind of shakes his head and turns back to her and says, Well, I hope, uh... I hope whatever it is we're doing here has been keeping you busy. Yeah. Uh, it's been okay. The, the Eamon fellow brought in a whole bunch of weapons to sort out to the guards. Most of them are in pretty decent condition, so... It's... Do you have... Go for it. Do you happen to have a spare whetstone? Uh, hmm, let me have a look. And she, like, digs around, pulls one out, and goes, uh, a couple, uh, copper for this, really. It's, uh, you know, kind of old. But it's what we got. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, placed down a gold piece on the counter. Big spender, huh? <laughs> I can't take it with me, after all. Well, there's that. Alright, I'll take the whetstone. And, um... And I guess I'll go to the Burgermaster's house and see if I can get into his, uh... Uh... Into his library. Okay. So, yeah, you make your way to the, uh, the Burgermaster's house. And you, you see still, like, there's a big fireball scorch on the ground from the last time you were here. And you spot, like, the two dogs that live there, kind of chasing each other in the yard. 
<laughs> I'm gonna give them a wide berth. They stare at you. They like I stare back. they immediately <laughs> stop playing and just stare at you. And they whine slightly <laughs> and they run away. Huh. I'm gonna walk inside. Uh oh I just realized I've got the players on the wrong map. <laughs> Do I have the Burgermaster's house? Where is it? Where is it? I might as well just load up that map. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to attempt to make my way into the Burgermaster's house and find any books with any more information about Yester Hill. Uh, with the understanding that any book that is in common would take me a considerably longer. Like, I would at least be able to find stuff. I would be looking for books about the topography of Barovia. Like, Notable, maybe any maps, any geographic features, stuff like that. Yeah. Just one second, put some dogs on the map there. and They're mm -hmm. playing in the yard. And you see a couple of guards kind of milling about, but they don't seem to stop you or anything. One kind of nods his head as he sees you come. Uh, yeah, I'm just going in and, and, and scouring. Like, I'll even do an investigation if you want me to. Just let's, like, look for any information about... Yester Hill, um, anything to the to the west of of uh, Velaki. Any information I can find about that area? Cool. Just cleaning up the map here, because it's been a while since you were here. But yeah, you're, you you find the the Burgermaster's library, and yeah, give roll me a, an investigation check. Oh, hot dang! Uh, well, that's a minus two. No, no, that, never mind. That's not a minus two. It's just a minus one, so a ten. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what specifically were you looking for? Uh, just... Um, I was specifically looking for any information about... I would love to look at the topography of Barovia. I know we have a map. Yeah. And I would love to look at... I would like to look for information regarding the druids on Yesterhill, the sort of mountain people that were buried on Yesterhill, and then additionally anything to do with werewolves. Okay. But that's, that's like, the order. So you, you do find, like, an atlas that has a bunch of maps uh, in more detail of the different typography of Barovia. There's not a whole ton in Barovia. You find it's just like the, just the valley is kind of in, captured in the, the, the mists. And this seems to be written by uh, Sir Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he, he has like very detailed maps of all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Dan Cut. Yeah. The noted yeah, the noted cartographer, Sir Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> I apologize. I literally that was the first name that came no, no. to mind. <laughs> no, no, it's no, it's it's good. It's canon now. You said it, it's canon. It, it's Keep going. It's canon. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart, the, the noted cartographer who had a side gig as an actor. Yeah, he was a famous actor that traveled around and cartographied things. And did a cartography, yes. Yeah, okay. he did a good cartography. He, very, he had very detailed notes of uh, the west side of uh, Barovia. Yeah, and that, that there's like mentions of the, the, the mist wall and how it has visions beyond it of the future and the past and how people have gone mad staring into it i really loved humphrey bogart and casa barovia <laughs> <laughs> thank you I said, uh, okay <laughs> oh go ahead yeah no i'm sorry i'm just trying to pull up my yesterday notes because it's been a while okay so i hate the i hate the whole thing about the mists make people go bad Yep. Neat. Uh, regarding the Yesterhill druids and the people buried there. Yeah, they, you discover from there, and you, you feel like you've heard this before from a few people now, saying that the there used to be a group of people that lived in the mountains, and then they were conquered when Strahd came. This goes into a bit more details of how they were basically a bunch of warring tribes on the mountain, and they were all brought together under Kavan. And they uh, had a little society going 
of what people thought of as barbarians. And then Strahd came to try and unify them under the kingdom of Barov for his father. And is there any note of where they were originated or were based? Or we're talking like like a long, long time ago before Barovia really was... It was before Barovia was Barovia. Mm -hmm. And this is all... They were kind of all over the shop or were they in specific mountains? They were specifically in like the mountain range from below. Uh, Just a sec. Let me pull up the actual name of... I need to get my map out. I am looking at the handy dandy map that I got from my copy of Curse of Strahd, Mount Gacchus, that one? Yeah, around there. Okay. Basically, they lived up in those mountains and close to Yester Hill. And Kavan <laughs> kind of ruled over them, but was killed during uh, Strahd's takeover centuries ago. Okay. All right, that's pretty much going to do it for all the stuff he's going to find. Um, anything to do with the werewolves at all? No. With a, only a 10, you can't find anything on these werewolves. <coughs> gotcha. Okay. With that, Brimstone is going to uh, leave the library. He's going to go up to the uh, western gate where the agreed-upon meeting was, and he's going to relieve whatever guard is there, and he's going to sit up against the wall with a whetstone, sharpening... Um, Sharpening the spear of Kavan and a small hunting knife and none of his other weapons. Okay. So, uh, Amond and Riley, you've made it back to town now after being out into the woods. You would actually probably pass Brimstone on your way in because you have to go through that gate. And that was the third time I almost died. Oh, whoa. Man, yep. you need to be more careful, okay? No, I... Look, you were there for the fourth and fifth and also sixth time I almost died. <laughs> so... That's just until Fair. now. That's six Jeez. times. Oof. Oof. That is a lot of times, my boy. Oh, look, it's Brimstone over there. Hi, Brim. It is indeed Anyways. Brimstone over here. <laughs> <laughs> I am over here. Hail travelers, are you, what ha- business have you in the city of Alaki and whatnot? <laughs> no visitors Amen. coming in after dark or some such. A- Amon will actually oh, come like, on. chuckle at that. <laughs> Let us nope, I'm do. sorry, come the Burgomaster is a hard ass who has weird festivals to do with sons and dogs. Oh, uh, <laughs> speaking of uh, sons and dogs, uh, the, the, um... Yeah, how's the werewolf thing going? Yeah, that. So. Uh, I've got. He kind of looks at his. He kind of looks at his wrist as though he's got a wrist. Because well, I've got an appointment in uh, <laughs> in sundown. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Well, do you do you want us to be your backup? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I. <sighs> See, they were all doing. Fine. Because no, on one hand, okay. Sorry, yes. No, you you go first. They're already reluctant enough to meet with with me. I had to stare at wolves for a long time before to get their attention. So I don't know how they'd feel about other people coming along. See, my contention was that um, there's a very good chance that see, I'm of two minds. One is if something goes wrong, I want to be there to make sure you do not die. Uh, but the other hand is, I feel like if we come along, they're gonna be a little freaked out by by the spellcaster and the guy with the big magic axe. You dig? Yeah, we're kind of freaky. I'm. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I want to freak them out. Okay. Yeah. Can can, can, can my I... horse at least come with you? I mean, yeah. I I'm cool to take Maggie. Uh, Riley, if you want to come as well. Uh, I don't know where Zelfie went. But, I'll take uh, off my armor if you want me to, but like. Well, I mean, you still got the glowy aura thing, and you know. I can turn that off. I mean, if you if you want to come, you can. I just uh, like. Their, their whole deal is the moon, as I understand. You know, Mother Night, all that situation. I don't know if a paladin of. Well, I mean, he's a paladin. Of, he's not a paladin. You don't have a paladin of the sun, so you're fine. But the only other oh, god that they know. That's Lathander. Yeah, that one. 
Uh, I think I I think what we will do is we will come, but we will stay back and let you sort of talk. I'd be very careful with how far you stay back because I, I'm willing to bet that their senses are much sharper than mine. So yeah. we're not talking like we're not talking like 150 feet here. We're talking like. Look, I don't in, I don't intend to to make myself unknown, nor do I intend to get close enough to the ceremony to be in a position where I could ruin it. I don't know if there's even going to be any kind of ceremony. I I don't know what. Maybe I'm just projecting, but this seems like a like a culty type thing. I just hope these guys aren't in league with Strahd is all. Uh, I feel like if they were, they would not be... This would not be a... If they were in league with Strahd, this would have been a go out into the woods late at night, uh, come alone kind of weird situation. Yeah, like yeah, why have you ever done that? Like not not any time that anybody's invited me. <laughs> Anyways, um, look, we will... I don't know, scream if you need us. I don't want to bust I, I do have one thing to say. Uh, Zelfie and I talk with Irina. Um, mm -hmm. when we go, when we go up to Strahd's castle, um, she wants to come with us, and... I think Oof. give it the chance. I mean, really? technically, we'd be bringing her Irina, uh, him Irina. So technically, that would be our side of the bargain fulfilled. She but, just uh, said she's just done running, and I, I understand that sentiment. I hope this doesn't end ugly. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, it's gonna be- it's gonna suck a whole lot before however it ends, let's be honest with ourselves. Brimstone, I- I need to remind you, this is my mother's life on the line, so we can't do anything hasty, we can't- we can't stick our horns in our mouth, we can't- like, we need to be careful. I'm aware, Raymond. I'm yeah. not- I just- Mmm, I'm very nervous. This really Amen. sucks a lot. I hate Amen, it. I've I hate watched, this. Amen, I've watched, I watched my mother die. I don't want to make you go through that. Oh, I watched my father die. <clears throat> I've not met nice, my parents. Nice, cool bit of one-upmanship just there. Great. We, no, there, there wasn't one. We're all messed up. <laughs> it's it's yeah. more like... I'm yeah, just saying. No, I, it's like Strahd picked the most emotionally damaged people to bring into this Dread Realm. I can't imagine why he would do that. Yeah, I can't imagine now. either. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, my, my point is, Aim, though... I'm not... I don't want to make you go through what I went through. Uh, Aemon so, will walk over to Brimstone, put a hand on his shoulder, and then just give him a big old bro hug. Aww, Brimstone, bro hug. Brimstone will hug back. Yay, bro hug! <laughs> and then he'll brace his shoulder, brace against his shoulders and say, Stay safe out there, buddy. Hmm. And then Eamon will go inside the walls. I will not rest till Brimstone has hugged everyone. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, All right. Yeah. Would you I'm... like me to follow you? <sighs> well, I can I can stay a little bit behind and send you messages, but they might scout me out. Well, we'll see how the- see, tell you what, why don't you come with me to this meeting, and if they don't want you to come, you don't have to come, but if- if they're cool with you traveling with me, I think I- I think I wouldn't mind having somebody next to me. Mm-hmm. You got it. Mm -hmm. uh, Low-key, Maggie will also be coming with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Eamon's more trying to do this as, like, a sign of trust slash respect that he yeah, hopes yeah. he doesn't regret <laughs> later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there's a few hours okay. before sundown. Not sundown. There's no there's no sundown. But, you know, nighttime. Mm -hmm. Is there anything anybody else would like to do in town? Me. What would you like to do? I'm going to bring them some food while they're waiting. Cool. 
Oh, Brimson no. totally goes Aww. in for the hug with Riley, by the way. Sorry, Riley. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sounds hugging, good. Hugging everybody. Go ahead. Yeah. Does that include Maggie? <gasps> hug that horse. No, no. <laughs> Maggie Aww. sticks her gross, decaying flesh on your, sh like, head. There's a passet. This is the only animal that has ever loved me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, Riley tells Brimso about the potions and being like, I downed that. Do you have some? I'm proud of I'd, myself. Like, yeah, yeah, can I? Yeah, roll, yeah, here you go. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> roll a constitution check if you are drinking the go. vinegar water. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, good. Hold on. Let me see what I got. I got a, uh, I got a total of fifteen. Cool. Yeah, it <laughs> it, it tastes nasty, but you down it. <laughs> like specifically, it is how I imagine the time I accidentally made tea with vinegar water. Oh no! <gasps> no. So it's like I got that hint of like, uh. Oolong tea and vinegar. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh bad. Okay. Uh, save tea me, save me from this forever. very terrible um, <laughs> image. Uh, Dan, <laughs> do your thing. Uh, <laughs> cool. And then uh, he is going to go to see what was it? Sir, what's his face? Um, the knight. Sir Snicket. They'll see oh, Sir yeah. Lemony Snicket. <laughs> and, and Quentin Snicket. Silk, I'm not that Quentin's that Snicket. ridiculous as that to name him exactly what he is in the book, but no, Sir Quentin Snicket. Hey. So you find uh, Sir Snicket. He is uh, kind of giving orders to some of the town guard, and he spots you. Goes, oh, hail and well met, sir. Hail and well met. How have things been going here? Things have been doing uh, pretty decently. Uh, Getting the lay of the land, uh, everybody seems to be in well order now that we've got a, a schedule down. Now, have you worked towards expanding the guard at all? <sighs> Not particularly. Mostly, we've been trying to make sure all the guards are on the same page, more or less. Mm. It's been a, a time and a half. Some of them were actually very loyal to uh, the Isaac Stranzi. Well, and they broke like, off. Yeah, sadly deceased. Yes. If uh, there's any of them you need me to deal with, I can be very persuasive. I think we've mostly got it under control now, but there has been sightings of a few cultists still. And we, we've detained a few, but keeping everybody safe and non-panicky has been a bit of a trip. If you'd like, tomorrow I can try interrogating some of them. That, hmm, perhaps. Right. right now, the uh, the main thing is making sure that the borders are safe. Well, I can help with that. And, well, if you are out wandering around again and you manage to spot three children... Please, uh, let me know. Oh dear, who is it this time? Well, uh, I, I had mentioned them when I had first came. Uh, I was in search of three children that were kidnapped before I ended up here. And then, of course, uh, Lady Vokter got her hands on me and I have kind of lost track of everything after that. Oh dear. We never dealt with the hags, did we? Excuse me, what? Hags? Yeah. Um, so there were some hags kidnapping children that we didn't manage to completely finish off. Hmm. And, uh, we should really get around to doing that. Well, uh, I, I'll tell you this. I, I don't think the children I'm looking for were kidnapped by hags. They, there was werewolf sightings in our neighborhood before they would been, went missing. Brimstone will sort of face palm and then gro uh, sorry, aim and face palm <laughs> and then groan. You know what? I think this is a problem for tomorrow, Eamon. But, <laughs> uh, I, I may have a lead as to what's going on. I just don't know if I can pursue it yet. Well, alright. I'll stand ground here. Quentin, thank you. 
Thank you, sir. No, Aemon will, as he leaves, kind of look jealously at his shiny armor. <laughs> That's it. Cool. <laughs> Anything else anybody wants to do before uh, nighttime? Uh, I can't think of anything. Brimstone's gonna, before we go, he's going to go back to uh, the inn, and he's going to leave, uh, he's gonna leave all of his, all of the weapons that he has, except for the Spear of Kavan, a small hunting knife, that isn't like a dagger or anything, it's just a small, like, you know, utility knife. Uh, and then... Ooh, weapons! He's gonna leave them on his bed. <laughs> And then he's going to... He's going to keep the spear with uh, his glaive with him for now. Cool. So yeah, he just has the spear of his glaive, and a... Just a small paring knife. Yeah. Yep. And uh, then I'm just going to wait at the edge of the forest. Cool. Uh, Riley is riding piss with precipitation, like, on the floor. Or on the ground. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's bored. <laughs> Do fuck. Do that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot she can't write. Shit. Yeah, so... I, I think she just writes, like, what Did she draw thinks. dick butt? Did she draw dick butt? Yes, she draws dick butt. Thank Hell you yes. Million. Hell yes. Dick butt. <laughs> There's a dick butt on dick butt on the ground. You're drawing Strahd as dick butt? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I what give a it cursed and, like, long hair. What a cursed fucking image. <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw that later, aren't I? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Use your prerogative as an artist. You can draw this into this world. It's, uh, it's a blessing and a curse. It's not a blessing. <laughs> oh no! All right. Cool. So a as the the night begins to settle, and you hear from the forest the sounds of the nighttime. You, you see, coming towards the edge of the village, uh, two people. Just a sec. The music I have right now is very bumping. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Fuck yeah. Fucking hot beats for this world. It's <laughs> too much. It, I cannot have that right now. Welcome to the pack. <laughs> Something more chill. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, you, you approach. Uh, you see. The man that you had met before, Victor, with the salt and pepper hair and the large scar over his eye. Unlike last time, though, he seems to be dressed in clothes. They're raggedy and mangy, but they're clothes nonetheless, as opposed to being naked, as the last time you saw him. Mood. Standing next to him is a woman with dark brown skin and hair pulled back into kind of mangy looking dreads. She's got a mm, headband around that's a kind of faded blue color. Her clothes are also <laughs> ripped and haphazardly stick together with stitching that doesn't quite match. She has a stern look on her face and behind them are three large wolves. And they stand and they wait for you to come to them. I Riley call does to them. nerve swave. I call to them before, we, before I go and say, should I be coming alone, or can my companion come with us? They look at Riley, and Victor kind of shrugs, and the woman goes, She can come if she wants. Very well. And uh, bring some little motion for Riley to follow. Yeah, Riley, like, very stiffly follows. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just walking confidently towards them. Cool. So... You walk for a little bit in silence until you reach kind of this grove in the forest. It's quiet and there's trees all about. The wolves kind of settle around and she sits on the ground cross-legged and Victor kind of stands over her with her his arms crossed. She's in the center of this area? Yeah. And kind of motions for you to sit down as well. Uh, I will also sit down across from her. She'll sit behind Brim. 
she kind of raises an eyebrow at that and then goes, I suppose introductions are to be done. My name is Zulenka Toriska. I am from the Order of the Moon. I am the wife of Emil, who is the former head of our little pack here. It has come to my attention that you and your friends may be planning to pay a visit to Castle Ravenloft before too long. Vic here has told me that you are a man seeking power, and I am a woman seeking a favor. I was once Nikolai Aetheron, son of Tanya Aetheron. A young man, a naive man, in a village a long way away from here. Now I am Brimstone, called the Demon of the Mountain. I draw my strength from a terrible grief that has rotted away in my chest for too long. I seek a new source for strength. Hmm. If that is what you can give me. And whatever favor you would ask of me, name it. Well then, I would ask that you rescue my husband. Oh, dip down. I will tell you a small story. And it will, if you decide still to use our power, then take it as you will. But my pack was originally monster hunters. We took the curse of lycanthropy and turned it to a force of balance in the lands, protecting those who needed it and ending those that dare upset the balance of things. However, we were drawn into the mists and trapped here. We began to lose ourselves in this land. We have been trapped here for so long that so many of us no longer see the point in keeping alive our old ways. Instead, we've fallen into our animalistic urges. The humans of this land, we meant to stay out of their affairs. But, you know, as time goes on, that's the way it goes. We have to eat to survive. We have to grow our numbers to keep this pack strong. My husband wished to remain neutral and not get involved in Zarvich's little games. However, a man in our group called Kirill Storvanovich. He is my husband's greatest rival, and he saw things differently. The Count offered Kirill, and any who followed him, boons in this land. He allowed them to wander the lands outside the mists. They didn't have much choice in if they could leave or not, but he would grant them exit now and again. He would do that so that he could grow the pack and become stronger. All we'd have to do was obey the vampire lord. Many of us who still hold on to the old ways chose in to stay to not follow him. This caused a schism between us and them. It has been quite some time since this war has been raged, but recently my husband was taken to the castle, and he has not returned. At best, he's rotting away in the dungeon of that foul place. At worst, I do not even wish to think of it. But without my husband, our people falter. He was the one thing keeping our side of the schism in check. If we do not get my husband back, then I fear the Order of the Moon will be finished, and we'll be nothing but Lord Zarvich's attack dogs. So, I offer you this. I will give you the curse of lycanthropy and the power to bend it to your will, but only if you rescue my husband. We cannot even perform the ritual that would tame your inner beast without things that are in our uh, cave back home. And rescuing your husband is what it will take to get those things? It's correct. Without him, we cannot take back our cave. Without our cave, we do not have our tools that can grant you the power that you need. Hmm. 
your husband? Do you have anything of his? Any fab? Any a fa any any possessions of his at all? I have this, and she pulls out a necklace that has like a wolf tooth on it. It is. I'm going to take one of his okay. teeth. We shared these amongst ourselves as a token of our love. Ooh, that's I devotion right there. Yep. <laughs> I will take it and I will smell it. Do you think do I think I could get a scent off of this? Yes. Alright. And I'll say if you allow me, um and I will I, if she'll let me, I'll put it into a small pack. I'm not gonna put it around my neck. Yeah. She'll allow that. We are indeed planning a trip into Castle Ravenloft. Whatever aid you can offer us in this venture would be most appreciated. And I swear that I will find the fate of your husband, and if he is alive, bring him back to you. If you do that, then I will grant you the power that you seek. Very well. Is there anything you can give to us now? Any allies, any promises? Hmm. Resources? Victor here could go with you if you need someone to watch your back. If, and he'll look up at him, if Victor is amenable to it, I would appreciate it greatly. He nods. Yes, sir. Well, I will follow any lead that you will take. And, uh, with that, he is going to, um, he is going to take the glaive that he had, mm -hmm. <coughs> and he's going to draw it across his right arm to draw blood. And he's going to take it, and he's going to stick it into the ground. If, if they balk at it, he won't do it, like, in the middle of this grove, but he'll do it, like, at the edge of the grove. Yeah, no, they, they don't seem to stop you. They just kind of no. watch with interest. I'll take the glaive, and I'll say, this... With a promise a long time ago. I think I am through hiding behind this. And I'm going to take the glaive and leave it in the ground in that little clearing. Yeah, Z Zalukia nods. Best to break those chains that hold you tight if you are to go forward with this. Well, give me her name again, uh, Liam. Uh, I'm going to type it in the chat, because it is a, it's a weird one. It's a, it it's a, a, name, Barovian, huh? it's a Barovian name. Yeah. <laughs> Bap. Oh, yeah, I spelled that wrong. Zalika yeah. Tornesk. Yep. I am bad at oh pronouncing gosh. names, and I apologize. No, that was a very good attempt, because we... I, I don't even want to, like, think about that last name. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> I want to look up, and I'm assuming we can't see the moon at all from where we are? No, it is, like, yeah. fogged over with all of the mists. Northern of the moon, huh? Yes. Unfortunately... We have not seen the moon in quite some time. This place shrouds us from what really brings us our true power. Hmm. That is partially why we have devolved into such madness, I believe. I think I would like to see the stars again. Very well. Zulika Tornescu, I will find your husband wherever in the depths of Castle Ravenloft he may be, and bring him back to you. I appreciate that. We will be waiting. And Brimson's gonna get up and walk out. Uh, cool. And uh, if people uh, follow him. Riley follows nervously. You see Victor kind of nod to Zaluka. 
and then start to follow you guys. She turns, and you hear the crunching of bones as she turns into her werewolf form, and she and the other wolves <coughs> run off into the night. <laughs> I'm going to do Sanguine Saint quickly. Yep. Yeah. I want to make sure that nobody was eavesdropping on that whole situation. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, you smell the, the wolves. You smell Victor, who is following you now. And you smell what seems to be a were raven off in the distance. Uh, I'm going to uh, heighten my saying with to sp- point out exactly where it is. Yeah, you notice a couple feet back in a tree, there's a, a raven sitting up there. I uh, look at it, and I look at it uh, just dead in the eyes. It looks at you, and it flaps down to a lower branch. And it goes, oh, hey, we're even, friend. It nods. Keep an eye, keep an eye, it says. And I thank you for that. Luke is worried, Luke is worried. Aww. (laughs) Lucas Lucas is always worried. We should go back and uh, check up with everybody. Make sure we're all good. Okie doke, okie doke, and it flies off. Aww. Brimstone and uh, I guess Brimstone and now Victor and Riley are gonna walk back. Yep. We got a new friend. <laughs> R- Riley gives Victor the the bottle of vinegar stuff. No, don't give. No, <laughs> no, no. He kind of looks at it and like goes, "This smells like garbage. Why did you hand this to me?" <laughs> it's it's the new bonding. Thing. Riley, it's no, vinegar. Riley. Like people have to. We have to know each other for a little bit before we like make them commit food <laughs> crimes and things, okay? Like... <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. no, I don't I don't really want this. Thank you anyways, but I... Mm, no. You can Next keep your time. bonding rituals. It's fine. Next time. So... This uh, man is, like, in his 40s, by the way, and he's got, like, a scraggly beard, <laughs> and he just is, like, kind of not <laughs> in the mood for that kind of childish games. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Order of the Moon, huh? That's correct. I did not bring it up earlier because we were simply observing you. Man. Also, I was naked in a bush and I was very uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, that's (laughs) fair. That's fair. That's fair. Where do you stand on all that with them? With Zukila and the email and all that? (sighs) They... They have always been good to me and they have always had the best interests of the pack in mind. In general, the pack has devolved. This place drives everyone mad eventually. It just drove a few of us faster. Without the moon to guide us, then many felt lost. And Strahd was there with an open hand. Is there any specific deity or anything that you all follow? We follow. Uh, just one sec. <laughs> well, ever since we've come here, we've started to uh, worship Mother Night because she is watches over all the creatures of the night. Before then, we didn't really have a deity per se. We just worshipped the moon itself. I know that there is a goddess of the moon, but we never called her by name. It didn't seem necessary. Would I be the first, uh... (laughs) Would I be the first tiefling to join? Yes. We, uh, we are mostly humans. We have a few... Uh, half-elves. But, mm, that is... We are mostly humans. Funny. Well, uh, Victor, I hope, uh... I hope, uh, we can find Emo and, uh, make everything go better for your group. 
Yes, well, even if it ends poorly, it is us doing what we must instead of bowing a knee to that man. I would rather die in fighting than live as an attack dog for a vampire. Then I think that you and I are going to get along swimmingly in Castle Ravenloft. <laughs> he gives a little chuckle and shakes his head. And I appreciate having someone like you behind us. You uh, you seem to fight very well, recklessly, would, but well. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say well. <laughs> You're not dead yet. Uh, I mean, I have seen many. I mean, who's counting really? <laughs> Go ahead. I will say, not dying is three quarters of the way to a fight good. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'll take your word on this one. Fair. It is Barovia. Oh. <laughs> to a fight. Oh my god. Knock on wood, I guess. Really. <laughs> like, knocks on a tree. <laughs> Oh, uh, Victor, I should, um, introduce you- I should introduce you to the other, uh, members of our group. Um, uh, so this is Riley. Uh, That's she- howdy. She is a very accomplished spellcaster, uh, who, um, and, uh, Riley, this is no slam against you and all, but I would recommend for now, just don't stay anywhere within, like, 30 feet of her for right now. When oh, she's yeah, spell. no question. Ah, you're one of those ones that are- uh, all magic all the time can't control it, yes? Uh, yeah. Um, it's a little bit of a, a gamble there. Yes, uh, I have heard of such ones. I heard they're called roulette wizards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Riley likes that name a lot. <laughs> I think, no, I think I like that. Yeah, that fits. Yeah, Riley the r roulette wizard. I like it. I'm in. So for me as well, like I'm in a. I mean, you've seen me fight. I'm in a weird situation where like I. I'm. I like do a lot of. I do a lot of work with like. My senses and like blood and that kind of thing. It's like. Yeah. That's another thing is that you're already halfway to a werewolf at that point. You know, you smell real. You smell good, I suppose is the term. I mean, you smell I mean, well. I smell terrible, terrible, Victor. I smell terrible. But... <laughs> yeah, no, it's, you do smell terrible, but you smell well, question mark. And that is what yeah, it is. Actually, <laughs> actually, we should establish, how is the Order of the Moon like with jokes? Because, like, there's a lot of material there, and I don't oh, know, like... Um, <laughs> I, I take well to the jokes, uh, but not everybody does. So Luca, yeah. in particular, is very stern. Please do not make too many jokes around her. She might I hit did, you in yeah. the face. I did not get to, I did not get the very raucous vibe from Zuki. Like I, I mean, to be fair, yeah. her husband is imprisoned or dead. So yes, and uh, well, mm -hmm. the, she is. Re we're kind of on the run almost at this point. Kirill tried to lock her up in, down in the basement and have her watch over the uh, the people that he has kidnapped. Um, oh, 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 ha. Huh. But oh, okay. we all ran out of there. So, you know, she is not in quite a pleasant mood after seeing all those people down there. Yeah, okay, so her. Riley... Hey, Riley, do, you, do we have, like, the list of stuff to do yet? <laughs> we have that... Do we have, like, that written down anywhere? Because I feel like this one needs to go on the list as well. Yeah, 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 for oh, sure. Boy. We, yeah. we got a laundry list, Victor. It's it's a big one. Well, mm -hmm. I'll say say this. Kirill, he is trying to grow our ranks and make the pack stronger. He sees the best way to do this is to take children and make them fight each other. Whoever wins gets to join the order. That seems very uh -huh. fucked up. Like, wow. Yep, Excuse you, you, me? You I've see seen why we broke in my life. This is when? why we broke away. You know, he's kind of a madman. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't... Yeah, wow. I'm not a fucking fan of this. <laughs> no, I, I don't imagine you would be. I feel like we're hit, We're like, we're not only doing, like, getting two birds with one stone, we're getting, like, a, a several flocks of birds with one stone in bringing Emil back from Ravenloft. This is... Yeah. 
Yeah. It is a very large boulder that will crush many birds, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we don't mean literally, Victor. No, no, I love Yeah, no, I love it. It's... <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like there was something else I, uh... Oh, oh, okay, so apart from Riley, there's, um... There's Aemon, who's a, who's a paladin. Um... He's not an anti-werewolf paladin, to my knowledge. But that's a relief. Has... Please don't let him cure me, because that would really mess me up. Yeah, I <laughs> I feel like we might need to just preface that. For, like... Cause... I mean, that might be a really cool, like, like if we get this, this what's-his-face, like, like uh, what's the, what's this fucking asshole who's uh, doing shit with Yeah, who's Kirill. this bitch? We gotta... Kirill. Yeah. Kirill. Kirill, yeah, if we, like, do Kirill, and, like, he cures Kirill, that might be a good, like, fate-worse-than-death kind of deal, but, like, we'll workshop that. Kiro Stolonovich. Yeah. Yeah, he's an asshole. Okay. Perhaps. That would but be like, a good sound that's like a cool, cool guy. Yeah, he, that's no, several no. steps down the road, so. I will punch. Yeah. I will actually punch I would him. like to see that. Do you see you punch him? He is very buff. <laughs> I'll hold, no, I'll, so I'll hold him and you can punch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll, like, snap his neck or something. I'll get super, super big and punch him. Yeah, oh yeah, there you, we go. You can get super big, question mark? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. That Only is... on alternate Tuesdays and... <laughs> when the magic's right. Yeah. Uh, so apart from this, <laughs> Aemon, uh, then there's uh, Zelfian, who is a, a rogue. Um, she's probably going to be pretty mad that she didn't come with, with us, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, she's uh, she's pretty good at a lot of things. She's very tactical. Then we've got um, we got some whale ravens on our side. We've got a uh, what did Riley Theo's a rogue? But is he like isn't he like a general or something? Didn't he say that? Uh yeah, I think maybe. Mm-hmm. We've also he's got he's a tiefling too. He's cool. Yeah. How did... um, we... there's so many tieflings. I know. I know. Usually I don't see so many. Me neither. They are very yeah. rare in this neck of the woods. Mostly because <laughs> for a while, people, if they saw them, they would panic and think they were devils and kill them. So you are very lucky that you are not dead. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> Riley, like, tugs her hood a bit more. Yeah. Uh, Riley, anybody else worth forgetting? Oh, um... Uh... Yeah, demon horse. Well, yeah, we do have the demon horse. Um... We've got, uh, we've got, uh, Mrs. Kol- uh, we got Miss Kolyanovich, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's probably important to mention. Um, we used to be, we used to hang with Rictavio, but he turned out to be a huge douchebag, so we're not hang. we don't really, we don't really mess with him anymore. The, the, the man with the, the top hat? Wasn't he a vampire? No, he was a vampire hunter, but he doesn't go about it in a super great way. I am confused. There is too many, too many people with the same I mean, name. The, listen, the core four are me, Riley, Aemon, and Zelfine. Everybody else will kind of come and go as they please. They've all got their own sort of agendas. Well, all right then. It's that is good to know. Welcome uh, to welcome, the team. Yeah, welcome to the party. <laughs> We're gonna go raid a, a castle on a hill. It'll go well. Oh, I uh, yes. Uh, 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 Best to get all our preparations done as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the rest uh, of the rest we... of the <laughs> rest of the walk back to Valaki can use continues in much the same manner. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Victor will occasionally pull out weird sayings that make you go, "That okay," but they all kind of fit. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I'm a fan. Okay. So I'm a fan of him. <laughs> Cool. When you when you guys get back, Eamon's explaining another time he almost died. But he's explaining <laughs> it to like Olive now, and she's like listening with great intent. Oh my god! Man, Olive does not, Olive does not have a good track record for the bedtime stories. <laughs> yeah, she gets no, the best no, bedtime really? stories. No, he doesn't. He doesn't notice at first. It's like Olive, you're not old enough to hear this story. It doesn't. It's no. very. It's bad. But why are you telling it to me? I'm not telling. I was. I, out of canon, Eamon would not tell it to Ollie. You're probably telling it to like Lucas or Theo, and then yeah. Ollie would, Ollie would be there. It. Yeah, and then like, how you... did you get here? Well, you see, I walked. 
<laughs> We've had some great ones this episode. <laughs> My, it's that's up there for me with it's a very large boulder that will kill many birds. <laughs> no, no, I guess you did. And then I'll Eamon will pat her on the head, and then we'll go see uh, Riley and Brimstone and their new buddy, and also Maggie. <laughs> this is the horse who he's gonna. Hunt. So Eamon, this is this is Victor. Um, hello, I am Victor. Hello. I I'm we Eamon. we met briefly on the road. I was naked at the time, and I apologize. Eh, don't have to worry about it. it. Happens all the time. <laughs> More than more often than I'd like. Huh. Actually, Brimstone thinks for a second and goes, <laughs> "You know, you're right. We do see an awful lot more naked people than you would think we would." But that is well, when you see see a lot of like, people affected with lycanthropy. Is it kind of happens? He like whispers lycanthropy. <laughs> don't worry. Don't anyway, worry. I, I know so, I'm I'm cool. I've met a couple. Yeah. Okay. So you know the um. The 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 Saloon E's the Saloon E's the Saloon. Sa Same word for me, and I don't, I don't okay. know. Okay, well they some of them are where peoples. Oh. Their Saloon is. Moon God. Oh, that might be you know that might be the one. Well, what? Yeah. As I said, we do not tend to give them a name because. You know, naming a thing like the moon is just kind of bizarre. You, you know, that is exactly what someone. No, no, I know you don't. But if I were to meet, like, if I were to introduce you to someone who worships Saloon, that is like almost word for word what they would say about her. Yes. Well, you see, I do not quite understand why everybody needs to name everything. Like the river, they named the river. I do not know why they named the river, but they named it. Isn't there like one? Is there like another river in Barovia, or is there just the one? There's just the one, but they named it. Okay. Do they need to name the river? Do they need to name the rocks? They named the oh, rock rocks stuff. I do not uh, quite understand. If you name the rocks, you won't be able to tell them apart. There's multiple rocks. Yes, but do you? why would you need to tell them apart? Because if you, like, let's say you get lost or something and you need to find one of the rocks to help find your way somewhere else. I feel people need to name things to make them more real, and it's like, why do you need to make it more real? It's there, it exists. <laughs> why are you uh, named Victor? Hard hitting, hard hitting, <laughs> psycho, uh, psycho uh, uh, like fucking uh, metaphysical questions from Victor. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of gargoyles recently, and they think about this it. stuff a lot. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Eamon, um, Victor is part of a group, um, known as the Order of the Moon. Order of the Moon. I like them already. Good Yeah, name. they're, uh, they're, uh, all for, like, balance and, um, uh, keeping, uh, the Curse of Lycanthropy in check. Um, and there was a splinter group. Good news, Eamon. Fun thing. <laughs> Funniest oh, thing. Uh, there was Oh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, there's a splinter group off of their main group, uh, who have captured children, so that's neat. Um, mm. so we're going, what we're mm. going to do, it's cool, what we're going to do, is cool because what we're going to do is we're going to go to Sigmoth, and we're going to find the leader of the Order of the Moon, bring him back to- I know, I know someone who might be able So we're going to find the leader of the Order of the Moon, uh, bring him back to their place, uh, and, um, and we're going to just kick his ass, I guess. Okay, so, um, Sir Quentin Snicket. Uh, he was here looking for children who had been kidnapped by werewolves. Ah, that, you know? Ah, so maybe let's just... Mm. Well, no, but these are different werewolves. These are the werewolves I know, that are nothing like... I know, but look, I, and I, I, it's, not, it's not easy for me to admit this. Us knights can generalize sometimes. It, about certain groups of people. Oh, yes, you know, definitely. You all paladins like to put people into groups and to smite and not smite. That's been my general opinion of you. Well, so I, <laughs> I, I have a policy that until proven otherwise, everybody's in the not smite group. And it's been working out for me so far, except that one time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Victor, um, like, blinks and goes, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so they're great, and we're going to kick the old leader's ass, and I'm um, gonna join them. I think, as long as you know we do the. Oh, mm. Everyone has a boner for kidnapping kids, I guess. Can you please you know, rephrase that? You know, no, I, you know, no, Amit. I feel like in this context, it might be appropriate. 
I let's just go save them. Wolves do like well, bones. After... We like to chill, chew on bones. They are very good. Well, no, Amy. This oh is like God. a more delicate sort of power vacuum kind of situation. We can't just go in and kill the old guy. We need to like. We need, yeah, we need to help the leader of the wolves first. And also, okay. Strahd gave us a deadline, too, so it might be good to... What if we in. show up a day early and surprise him? I don't surprise. feel like he'll be surprised in any context. No, but yeah. I, 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 I... Look, I want to get this over with. I don't want to wait the full three days. I miss my mom, and she might die. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. So ah. I say we wait till morning, get a good night's rest... And then we set out. Okay. Are, are we ready, though? Are we really ready for this We're now? never going to be ready for this, Riley. That's fair, yeah. I think we are the- I think we are the least unready we have been thus far. By the way, uh, out of character, is- is, uh, Van- Van Rudolph back yet? No. Mm. He is not back yet. Richter Van Rudolph. Um, Rudolph the Red Nose Vic Richter. Yes. Uh, Rudolph the Terrible Red-nosed Man. Bitch. <laughs> might, you know, it might be. It's late at night, but we might want to go and, and check on him tomorrow. Okay. Uh, fine. If it's not too out of our way, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll be back by the time we leave. Ah, important point. Um, we have to actually go to Castle Ravenlock. So, we, yeah, we tomorrow might be like go check on Van Richten and then immediately go to Castle Ravenlock. We might have not have the time. Are we gonna exactly. drag him to Castle Ravenlock? No, we're gonna beat him up and take the book if we have to. I yeah. I I think mostly as like a human shield, we should bring him with us. You I know. I like that I, plan. <laughs> uh, I'm not as wild on it, honestly. I feel like uh. he will try some shit. Yeah, I just don't. Sneaky. Especially because, like, Lucas was planning on coming with us, and we can't take Lucas and Van Richten. That's, That's just... true. And if I had to pick mm. every time, I would pick Lucas. Holy shit. Of course. Yeah, unless it was, like, a doing morally weird and ambiguous and gross things competition. <laughs> then Rudolph would be, like, first guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got <him>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Pokemon Center music? <laughs> Amy, you can't just call a montage like that. You have to wait for Leanne to do that. <laughs> bung, 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 bung. Brimstone starts bleeding from his nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't break the fourth wall. It's don't crazy. break that fourth wall. He's not, a, he's not a Vistani. He can't do it. He can't do it. It's not allowed. <laughs> Brimstone, it's you need to lie power. down. Good Yo, we have and to go and go to bed higher tomorrow. Uh, I know. What's up? You sound suddenly very down about that. I don't want to fight a vampire, and I don't want my mother to die, so I'm in kind of a bind here. Mm -hmm. You want to walk for a sec, Damon? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Brim and Damon are going to walk out and go wherever he'd like. Eamon probably doesn't say anything until Brimstone speaks up. <sighs> You've been busying yourself. Yep. I know we're not ready for this. Not at all. Nope. You're taking the time to go ahead. Well, we have to try. Oh, of course. It's the only way anything ever gets done is by people trying. We'll get their back. Brimstone. One more thing. Mm -hmm. If I turn, and then I'll sort of point to one of his fangs. If I turn, don't hesitate, not even for a second. 
And you don't know, do I'm... the coin thing either. That's not how we work. Save your money. <laughs> For what? A nice house somewhere in Waterdeep. But I can grow old and die. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> not exactly your style, huh? No. You know I'm probably going to die here, right, Damon? I think we're both going to die here. Mm -hmm. Although, I think we've done a pretty good job so far of keeping the other person alive. And Oh, yeah. I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but if there's nothing else, I can appreciate you for that. Mm -hmm. I... Well, and Eamon would actually notice that Brimstone does not have his glaive. You lost your, uh, your big, uh, your big slashy stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gla 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 glaive, glaive. Well. Common is not my first language. I give it up. All right. I think. I think it represents to me a lot of a lot of my past a lot of stuff that brought me here but I think I'm I think I'm done chasing some ideal some sort of idea of who I should be I'm it's been a long time since I've let myself feel and I've felt a lot since I've been here Scared, uh, anger, angry, upset, but also exhilaration and friendship and love. It's been a while since I felt those things too. Eamon will smile and nod and say, Well, there's nothing wrong with holding on to your past brimstone. The most important thing is that you learn from it. I just don't want it to hold on to me much longer. Yeah, well, I've had that problem before. I don't know if you know this, that helmet belonged to the man who killed my father. We're gonna get that back too, huh? Yep. And I'm going to keep it until I find him. And I'll make him rue the day. Hmm. I didn't choose to be a paladin, Brimstone. But now that I am one, I'm going to be the best one that I can possibly be. Brimstone kind of puts a hand on him and shoulder and says, for what it's worth, Eamon, whatever you decide to be, I think you're a good man. You too, Brimstone. You too. And they just kind of sit there walking around, and then... They kiss. <laughs> nah, and then they kiss. It's back, guys. The yes. <laughs> Season two, and then they kiss. First one. <laughs> Nah, and then they, and then they now, go back. Guys. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, one, Brimson will say one more thing before we get back in. It says, so, Amy, just so, just so, because I know it's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of fucked up things that we're going to see in there. And more than just any of us getting turned. He's going to play. He, we're, we're walking right into a trap. We know it is. I just don't how do I say this don't rush into danger no 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 rush into whatever fucking danger you want that's how we've gotten things done this far but don't grin and bear it allow yourself to feel about things but don't don't tell yourself that it doesn't affect you because that's how it that's how it becomes too much all of a sudden, you know? Whatever, fuck, whatever fucked up thing he's gonna do to us. 
we can't pretend it won't affect us. Brimstone, the sign of a true warrior, of a true paladin, is not that they know no fear or pain or sadness or loss. It's that no matter what happens, no matter how much they get hurt, emotionally, physically, they keep getting back up. They keep going. To paraphrase my father, courage does not erase our fear. Courage is how we face our fear. He sounds like a very wise man. He was. A bit of a hothead, but <laughs> good guy. Uh, my mother always told me... Uh, she always said, Little Nico, you are going to grow up to be a very strong man. And you have to protect others with that strength. I don't know if I did that right, but I think you, I think you are very good at that. Well, you're not so bad at it either. Yeah, as long as you all let me stand in front of, in fucking in front of you when that kind of shit happens. Please, just no against them. I have special magic for undead. That's you got it. Okay. I have special, I have special rippling pectorals, aim and it's whatever. It'll be fine. <laughs> You've never seen me without my shirt off, Brimstone. I'm not talking about your ads, I'm talking about mine. Yeah, I thought you were talking about your pectorals. Please compare abs. Shirtless no. please time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's in the, that's in the Patreon only content. Yeah, um, sorry guys. <laughs> Join our Patreon now for five dollars a month. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> oh. oh man. I think I think this conversation's over. <laughs> yeah. Good talk, buddy. Yeah. So yeah, as you head back towards the uh, the they inn. They are nice packs, though. They are nice packs. Oh my god. Hey, Amen. This is weird now. No, he's, <laughs> this no. This is, is after. This is after he's left. This is this is just talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Good. 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 I'm glad. Yeah, who, whoever makes their way to the I inside of the inn first will spot Olive sitting on the stairs, kind of looking a uncharacteristically somber, kind of p picking at her fingernails. And it's definitely too late for her to be up, but she is... I think Brimstone's gonna let Eamon go in, and he's gonna do another walk around the inn. Cool. Riley is hiding in a hole, like any hole where she can have a silent panic attack. <laughs> cool. Would I hold on before we get to Amon and Olive? Would I detect her as I do my sanguine scent around the house? Probably. <laughs> so I find a ditch somewhere. That barrel smells like. <laughs> yeah, you're hiding yeah. in the the woodshed that Zelfine hid in one day. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and talk to her, but do Amon and Olive first. Cool. This is the hiding shed. Hey there, buddy. What's wrong? I had a nightmare. Oh, I'm gonna put an arm around her and kind of snuggle her a bit and be like, well, what happened? What was it about? Someone took Theo and hurt him. And then he was just on the ground, bleeding out. Oh, when was that? It's a little bit ago, I was sleeping, and then I had the nightmare, and then I woke up. Wait, didn't you... Oh, dear. What? Do you know where Theo went earlier today? Today, um, he and Lucas were looking up information about the other thing that you're looking for. The sun sword, right? Uh huh. I'm sorry, Olive. I have to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then Eamon will bolt out of there, get on Maggie, and just fucking ride as fat. Do I know where they went? No, they didn't tell you where they went. I I'm gonna start asking around immediately. I'm like in a panic. Uh, well, I. Uh... Did they tell Zelfine? Yeah, uh, Delphine kind of, like, looks quizzically and goes, 
They uh, were looking around town. They didn't say exactly where they went. Would would he like get out and see Brimson and Riley first? Because then I want to do our scene, and then he just bursts into us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Brimson's gonna go into the shed, and he's gonna sort of knock on the shed side of the shed. Don't come in here, anxiety people only. Oh, Riley. <laughs> 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 That's well, I, I don't think I know anybody in our group who is not allowed into an anxiety only shed. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, uh, tomorrow is, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, everything's great. We're totally prepared for this. We're totally meant to kill a vampire lord. Oh, I wasn't even thinking. I I had no, I had no delusions about the killing him tomorrow. We're just we're just gonna die, aren't we? Ah, uh, eventually, probably, but. I'm, like what? I mean specifically, we're gonna die tomorrow. I like, don't no think no question. So. Mm. Well, I mean, maybe. Um. I mean, if it's any con- if- I know it's uh, no small consolation, but, like, you're not gonna be the first one to- well, no, actually, that's really fucked up. That will- that does not help to know. Mm-hmm. But hey- It doesn't matter who goes first, it's- it's just inevitable. Well... I don't know if it's inevitable, but it's- I mean, the odds aren't great, but... We could be a lot worse off. Yeah. <laughs> How so? We could be doing it alone. That's true. But I mean, there'd be less casualties. I mean, uh, overall, no, I don't think so. Hey. Mhm. Mm you know, You, you know, you really contributed to us getting out of more than a few situations alive. I've I've hurt you guys a few times though too. <laughs> I shut the grate on you all in the first thing we in the first fucking house we walked into. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody messes up, and especially with your. With your magic, it's not something you can control, right? No. I've... I know it doesn't help much to say, but I've been hurt worse, and I've... And I've... I forgive you for the times you've hurt us. It's been on accident. It's been on accident. It's not... I don't blame you for it. But, again... It, the good that you've done for us, far outstrips that, my goodness. It's just... What choice do I have? Oops. Um... I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody's in the background for a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, people are chatting on my end. Yeah, we're sorry. Um, Good, Riley. I just, I've, I've hurt more people than I've helped. I, I don't know if... That's not true. It, it's either, it's either Strahd's gonna kill you or I'm gonna kill you. That's just... <laughs> Riley, you... Doing... Doing the right thing doesn't always go well. You know? Sometimes they fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's difficult and scary, and it's like, all of us are fucking terrified. Like, in, in working through that and, and doing the right thing is not easy at all. It's scary and dangerous and, and involves you trusting other people in a way that isn't, doesn't always come naturally, especially when you've been burned before. But you are... 
what you bring to our group is a unique spark. It's a way of... It's a way of being and doing things. More so than just the incredible magical power you wield. It's a way of... Of being that... It brings a kind of light that I don't think we would have otherwise. We need you, Riley. You really do. Otherwise, it would just be three edge lords barreling into the castle Ravenloft with no regard for ourselves or others. I'm not that edgy. <laughs> <laughs> Eamon says as he gallops by. <laughs> just a bunch of edge lords, the edge lords fighting another edge lord. <laughs> <laughs> It, Riley's uh, crying at this point. Perhaps I'm just gonna hug her. Aw, yay. She hugs back. I should make some soup. It's been a long soup. time. Soup sounds good. It's a, it's a family food. Mm, mm hmm. Alright, well. You gotta get some rest. Yeah, big day tomorrow. <laughs> oh boy. What did you think of the Order of the Moon, by the way? Mm, they they aren't as bad as I thought they'd be. They seem to I, be very. Oh. Gotta be honest, I was way into it. Like a lot of what they're saying, like <sighs> I really, it, yeah, it really resonated with me. I thought they'd be very, like, just very. I don't know, very intimidating and vicious, but they were just kind of... They had some order to them, and I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we could trust them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suppose this is the point where, like, as we're going out, uh, Eamon comes by on horseback. Mm -hmm. Barreling through. <laughs> oh, oh, where's the fire? We got a... We got a problem. <laughs> we got a jingle jingle. We got a jingle jingle right. problem over here. <laughs> we got a big it's problem. Going, Travis going, going nuts. nuts. <laughs> I don't get the Fuck. name. I'm sorry. I don't get the oh, reference. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's a game brunch reference. Oh god, can we just end it on that? Yeah. <laughs> Please, guys. We got a problem. <laughs> Travis going nuts. Travis <laughs> going nuts. Oh yeah, god. Theo's in danger. We gotta go. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh god, okay. Are two fleeing in distress. Both going, oh, shit. <laughs> Dang it, that boy's uh, at it again, getting into trouble. Boys are at it again. Oh. <laughs> love Theo, consistently a damsel in distress. 100%. Oh my god, I love he's, it. He's trying his best. He's trying his best, guys. <laughs> he is. Yep. Alright, well, that was a wonderful session. Yep. That was great. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end it there because I don't ha literally have nothing else planned. <laughs> You're Perfect. good. It was a good session. It was great. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Uh, thank you all good for watching talks. and listening. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Keep an eye out for next session in which we go to dinner and nothing happens. Nothing oh, bad will happen at well. all. Email, email is just there at dinner. Amy like say, hey, can he come home now? Can we? Can he come home now right now? And Strat says, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, and totally reasonable and cool. A hundred percent. This is. Right. Oh man, I'm actually like just like nervous because like oh shit, it's happening. That that's a mood. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Leanne's got a lot to plan. Castle Ravenloft is a thing. It's very oh, big. It's oh, it's like half the book. It's big. It it's used big. to be. It used to be the entire module. Yeah. Now it's like half oh, my the God. book. So, in the future, expect a lot of page flipping and mm, lots of hold on one minute. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of good page having, Speaking from experience, having looked at it myself, every room has like its own little bit of bullshit to it. Even like yeah. completely benign rooms have like, there's a thing in here that's creepy and gross. A hundred percent, and I love it. <laughs> that's good shit. All right, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. Thanks for watching, everybody. You are great and but, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. You are great and wonderful. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye Stories tend to change when one is shrouded in the mist. Hearts begin to realize why they are there to exist. Eyes are blind or open to the horrors all around. No story pushed by those can match the ones that
will be found.